This hybrid battery repair guide is for the 2013 through 2018 Ford C-Max and Fusion hybrid vehicles. It can also be used to repair the 2013 to 2016 Lincoln MKZ hybrid. It is not intended for the models designated with the energy badging or plug in models. You can also use this video guide to replace single modules with refurbished Batmech modules available on our website at batmech.com. This video is intended for highly trained individuals who understand the risks of working with high voltage. Risk includes loss of property or life. Repair at your own risk. To streamline this series, this video begins after the removal of your battery from the vehicle. Here's a look at our suggested personal protective equipment, or PPE. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. We recommend using high voltage gloves to protect you and then putting leather gloves over the high voltage gloves to protect the gloves. There are times during the disassembly where there is more risk of exposure to high voltage. So please be careful and wear your gloves when in doubt of your safety. We recommend placing the battery case on a non-conductive work surface. Let's get started. First, you'll remove the screws from the case as shown here. Next, you'll carefully flip the case over to the other side. Now that the case has been flipped over, proceed by removing the screws and nuts. Next, you'll remove these two screws from the end of the battery case. Once the two screws are removed, proceed to the other end and remove the screw shown here. Then, go ahead and remove the end component cover and main metal cover, which will expose the batteries. Next, proceed by flipping open all of the wiring harness covers. This will expose the battery terminals. Once the terminals are exposed, you'll use the special socket tool that was provided by BatMech to take the nuts that connect the wiring harness to the terminals off. Note, be sure to use the special socket that was provided by BatMech with your purchase to avoid stripping these specialty nuts. Without this special tool provided by BatMech, the repair may not be successful. Repeat these last two steps for all the remainder orange flaps and terminals. Note, we recommend using a pen magnet or a similar tool to remove all the loose nuts from the terminals once they have been unscrewed. Now that all the orange flaps have been opened and the nuts have been removed, take off the wire bridge and set it aside for later to reuse during the reassembly. Then proceed by removing the orange wiring harnesses. Note, if you use a screwdriver to assist in removing the wiring harness, you should be aware that if you touch any two terminals at the same time, you will experience a spark. After removing the orange wiring harnesses, tilt up the battery and remove the screws that hold the battery module blocks to the case. This may require some assistance. Finally, for the last step of disassembly, you'll simply remove the battery module blocks from the battery case. Now that your battery pack is completely disassembled, you'll prepare to reassemble the battery pack using your BatMech refurbished batteries. Your BatMech refurbished batteries are individually tested for capacity and voltage by highly trained technicians here at our shop using state-of-the-art testing methods. Your modules will arrive balanced for optimal performance. Within your BatMech packaging, you would have also received the special socket that you used earlier. In addition to the socket, BatMech has supplied a few specialty nuts in case you lose a couple or strip one out. 
For reassembly, start by putting your newly purchased Batmech refurbished battery module blocks onto the case. The rest of the reassembly of the battery pack will re-energize the battery. Your shop may have different protocols to keep you safe. It's always best to follow your shop's safety protocol. Next, you'll go ahead and attach the wiring harness to the battery module terminals. Once the orange wiring harnesses are placed on the battery terminals, you can proceed by placing all the nuts onto all the terminals. For this process, we have found that using a pen magnet works well for placing the nuts onto the terminals. Before attaching the wire harness, be sure your torque settings on your torque wrench are set to about 55 inch pounds. If you don't follow these torque settings, you are likely to damage the terminals on the modules and will void your warranty. Never use max drill settings and never use an impact wrench. Now that the nuts are on the terminals, you'll go ahead and tighten the nuts to the battery module terminals. Once the nuts have been tightened back on, you'll close the flap lids, ensuring the terminals are protected. Repeat the last two steps on the other side of the battery. Be sure to close the flap lids once your nuts have been tightened all the way back on. This will help protect the terminals. Once all of that has been completed, you'll go ahead and reattach the wire bridge as shown here. Now's a good time to take a photograph of each side of the battery. These photographs can be used for review of assembly if you experience issues. This may save you from having to uninstall the entire battery later. Now that the wiring harness reassembly is finished, you'll go ahead and place the main metal battery module cover back on. You'll use the same screws you removed when reattaching this cover. If you accidentally put these four screws on before attaching the metal component cover, like we did in the previous step, then go ahead and remove these four screws and put the metal component cover in place and attach it using the four removed screws. For the last step of reassembly, you'll go ahead and flip the battery over and use the remaining screws and nuts from disassembly to secure the bottom of the case. Your Batmech refurbished battery is finally complete. You can now reinstall it into your vehicle. This concludes our how-to demonstration. Remember as a highly skilled mechanic with high voltage training to wear the appropriate personal protection equipment your shop requires. Stay safe and thank you for shopping on batmech.com.